Hey, what's going on? I'm Will Button from DevOps for Developers, and today we're going to be talking about subnets. So understanding subnets can make your DevOps journey a little bit more scenic, and not understanding subnets can make it kind of seem like a chapter from Dante's Inferno. Either way, this topic can be just a little bit dry, so to make it entertaining, I'm going to do this whole video while impersonating 80s pop star Cyndi Lauper. Let's do this. I'm just fucking with you. Nobody wants to see that. Not even me. So let's do this though. Uh, let's take a look at the IP configuration for my laptop right here. So right away you can see that my IP address is 192.168.5.1.220. And there's this thing called a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Now that mask in combination with my IP address is how my computer knows what network it's on and how to find other things on the network. Think of it as like a list or a way to determine who's in your house and who your neighbors are, right? Let me explain that a little bit. So I've got this super high fidelity drawing of my laptop there. And the IP address was 192.168.5.220, right? And we had a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And so when you look at this, you can see that there are four distinct octets here. These are each called octets, and I didn't line them up there, so those last few are kind of funky looking. But what we're seeing here is Whenever you see this 255, that means that this part is not changeable. It's called a mask, and it's called a mask for a reason. And one of the best analogies I've heard for describing that is think if you're painting something, you put masking tape over the part you don't want painted, right? So this whole 192.168.5 thing, we don't get to change on our own network. And ultimately what that's telling us is that if we see or we want to talk to any device whose IP address starts with 192.168.5, we know that that's on our own network. It's inside our house. We don't have to go looking for it. And the other thing that lines up with this is you can see my other entry there for the router is 192.168.5.1. So what that's telling my computer is if you need to talk to something that doesn't fall within this IP scheme with this subnet mask, go to the router and the router can send you or tell you how to get to that resource. So our subnet of two or our subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 is what's called a slash C. And you may also see this described as a slash 24, right? And let me tell you where that comes from. I said that each of these components were called an octet, and that's because there are eight bits in it. So if we extrapolate this out, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits there. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits there. Bring this down, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits there. And finally, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits there. And that's what makes up our complete subnet. So this slash 24 tells me that 24 of these bits are masked out. So the only ones we can change are these last eight bits here from a 32-bit IP address. So one thing to know here is all of this stuff I'm talking about today is IPv4 or IP version 4. And I'm covering that even though IPv6 is out and um, gaining traction slowly but surely, I still think it's easier to understand IPv4 and then later we'll talk about IPv6. So we said that 255.255.255.0 is a class C, also known as a slash 24. Some of the other common ones that you'll see are a class B, which is 255.255.0.0, also expressed as, oops, we're missing a five there, 
This is expressed as a slash 16. And then finally, you'll see 255.0.0.0, which is a class A subnetwork, also known as a slash 8. Now, occasionally, you'll see networks that are really, really small. So you'll see like, uh, you know, a slash 28 or a slash 30. And again, just going back to our other screenshot over here, that just tells us how many of these bits are masked out. So for a slash 30 network, we would have all of them masked out except for these last two bits in our IP address. And that's it. I mean, that's really all there is to subnet masks. You can use a subnet mask to find out who's in your local network and who you need to go talk to the router for to gain access to anything outside of that. So a little bit of a shorter video today, but it's a really, really important concept that was, is going to help you understand routing issues when you're troubleshooting why I can't talk to this thing on my network. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click on the like button down below and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you see whenever I post new videos on DevOps for Developers. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.